Today, I am going to be transforming my Lego Technic car into a fully working remote control car. It all started last year when I had this birthday present, which is the Land Rover Defender Technic car. And I had a lot of RC cars before, but they were all broken. So this time I'm going to be remaking or transforming my Land Rover Defender car into actual remote control car. So let's go. And a bit disclaimer here, I'm actually currently trying to solve one of the issues. And so just so you know that the rest of the video, like part of the rest of the video is going to be reenacted. Act one. So first we're gonna need to do is to remove this roof of this big guy and also the back like the trunk of the Land Rover Defender and now we can actually get started. So removing the roof and removing the trunk door was pretty easy and well seeing we're about to get a lot more harder than I actually even expected. Act 2. Okay that was hard but yeah let's hope this part gets easier um i'm gonna start on removing the gearboxes levers and the steering wheel that i'm not gonna need so let's go and doing that alone took me over two days well actually one day and a half but now it's actually done okay guys now it is the time for the most fun part I am going to start adding motors and actually the spike prime itself. So there's going to be two motors, one at the front for going forwards and backwards, and the other one at the middle part for turning or steering, as you will. It was all going pretty well until this happened. So basically, these there are these gears turning the front wheel, but the gear is too low, and well, the space is really f small for me to connect a lot of gears, and I can only fit two or three of them in. So because I'm not in the mood of dealing with the front part, let's head over to the middle then. That was easy because there is actually already steering gears things turning like over already in the middle so all i need to do is to add a motor and connect it to the x well that was done quick well with the space i had in the middle parts that was luxurious but for the front gear for that you're gonna need to check out part two coming next week so be sure to stay tuned and y'all know there's only one way of doing that. Yep, go and click that button. Well, actually swipe down and click that button. But anyways, stay tuned and check out over here for Taylor Swift's awesome video. And see you guys later. Bye.